Good morning, everyone. I am so anxious. Today is day one of full spine and brain radiation, and I woke up with these burning hot sweats where I'm clammy and just feel like a million degrees. I'm not a million degrees, but I feel like I am. And I'm just shaky and rocky, and I just don't feel well. I'm just getting in my head. I felt so good when we had the fitting for it, so I don't know why I'm getting so in my head right now for the first round. Um, I was hoping I would be so much better with me being better for the fitting, but here I am, freaking out again. So hopefully I will calm down. I took anxiety medicine. Hopefully I will calm down and and start getting ready and pack stuff and whatnot. Mm, I'm so scared. Okay, let's go. Hello, we are on a stop for Chipotle. Um, I'm wearing my cool shades that Winnie got me for my birthday. She suggested I wear them for the drive and I was gonna take them off after leaving her because I didn't think I really needed them, and they help with the sun. So I'm wearing them, I love them. Thanks, Winnie. Thanks, Winnie. Super cute, I hope you still have these if you're watching this when you're older. And I hope you wear them and think of mommy. Mm -hmm. um, we got Chipotle, I already ate mine. And now we're gonna go to treatment. Yep. Kyle discovered that they have a big side of guacamole. Yes. Love guacamole. Guacamole. Anything else, sweetie? Drive was very trafficy today. I wouldn't know because I slept. Sorry. No, but we made it. Plenty of time. Uh huh. And we're nervous, but. That's why I slept. It. We try to keep me as calm as we can. And I'm so worked up today. I don't know why. And. I'm gonna try to close my eyes and rest for the rest of the drive. We're almost there, I'm gonna do it though. Close my eyes for the rest of the drive to just stay zen. And then I'm hoping after I complete the first round, I'll feel a lot better and it'll be a lot better from here on out. We'll see. Yep. You look cool with your shades. Thank you. <laughs> do you guys like them? What do we think? They're cool. I should wear these instead of my eye doctor appointment shades. Exactly. Although you, I'm not having those for a while. You're not doing that, no. For a while. <laughs> and then I have these cozy flats that Kyle got me for my birthday. Have you guys seen them? They're pillow, pillow slides. slides. They're supposed to be like walking on clouds. They're not quite as cushiony as I thought they would be, but they're, they are soft. Mm -hmm. They look a little squishier than than they are. Okay, so we're here. We have six minutes. I'm gonna take my medicine. We're here for day one of treatment. So we gotta make sure you get your anxiety medication, make sure you take your pain medication. Not quite sure how long today's gonna be. Probably anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. You don't think more than an hour? I don't think so. I hope not. You are mentally prepared to be uh, Nude today, last time you were not, but now you know. You got a little, you got a little cilantro hanging out with you. <laughs> not to smile, but to be nude, I'm ready. Um, it's really <clears throat> funny that you just said that, like it's none of your business to spread around, but yes, I am ready to be nude today. Um, except I forgot to shave my legs. I meant ready as in mentally. Oh. 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 Not, oh. not anything else. Oh, okay. I meant like, because you already did it once, and so now you know what to expect. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I meant ready in, as in physically. I did not. Mean Except that. for forgetting to shave my legs. But it's funny, with my legs you can see the different layers. How I have different layers of hair on my head. I have different layers of hair on my legs. It's so bizarre. Today starts day one of that of that hair 
Saying goodbye bye. I don't know if it's true. I saw someone online who had it and it was true. <clears throat> Who's that? It's uh, Builders. Oh. I saw someone online who did this treatment and she lost her hair. So mm -hmm. Maybe it's true. Yeah. But I've always kept my hair. Like I always lose a lot of hair, but I have so much hair that I never lose it all. Yeah. We'll see. Oh. You were very nervous this morning when you woke up. Still nervous now. Better than this morning though. Better than this morning. You saw me, I woke up like rocking really bad, shaking. We are staying out here for the night without the kids. We wanted to take the kids <clears throat> and my sister said, it's just one night and you're gonna have them all next week with you. Just leave them with me and you guys go have a romantic night. Last night was our wedding anniversary, <laughs> but it was also my sister's wedding anniversary because we had a double wedding and a, a double wedding when we got married. So I'm not sure how romantic their night is tonight. Hopefully they had a romantic night last night, but we all remember those baby ages. River's not even one. There's probably not a lot of romance going on. Yeah, it's probably not <clears throat> the most romantic uh, anniversary. But thank you, Ashley and Brad, for saying we can have a romantic night, even though you can't. Those are very nice. And this might be our last wedding anniversary, so we should make it romantic. Can I kiss your hand? Oh, so romantic. It's not going to be our last wedding anniversary. No. But. We're hoping it's not. Yeah, it could be though. But it's supposed to be. Ugh. Ugh, I'm so scared. Let's get the medication in you because we gotta go in. Yeah, I was waiting on you. Oh, <laughs> all right. You're my nurse. See you later. Look what we found. Just sitting here in the lobby. These have always been a good sign for Jenny. Ladybugs. Ladybugs, and today's the first day of treatment, so I feel like it's a good sign. How special. Don't bug out. Try not to. <laughs> All right, Jenny's been back for probably 30 minutes. And um, today is actually a consult day with her radiation oncologist. It happens to fall on the first day of treatment because he sees his patients on Thursdays, and today's Thursday. So he saw us before and said there's not anything to go over because we haven't started treatment yet. But he got the scans. He said every he said he feels very confident about their plan which made us feel really good, and Jenny was just ready to go. And she was feeling pretty good when she went back. So I have a feeling that today went well. We'll see shortly, as she should be coming out any minute. And I know she was really nervous for today, but I have a feeling that she did so well. And it's not as hot today. We had that little ladybug rock left in the, in the hobby. Hobby. We had the ladybug rock left in the lobby and we felt like that was a good sign. I don't know who left it there, but it was a good sign, and then her doctor was super nice again, and I don't know, I feel like it's good. So, good start to this new chapter, and then I booked us a hotel for tonight. We're gonna stay, I think we said that before we went in, but we have a hotel. The kids are with her sister, and um, we are going to stay in a hotel for the night, maybe get dinner, I don't know, just relax. I have a feeling she might be zonked, tired after this, but we'll see. And um, just hope that she comes out soon and hope everything's going well. I'm done with my first spinal brain. Pro proton. Proton. Therapy. Therapy, radiation. Radiation. And once I went in, you know, I had my pain medicine and anxiety medicine kicking in. The biggest issue was pain. It is so sore over here. And yesterday we had the medicine put into my pleurisy. Hmm. Your pleural effusion. Yeah. To thin the fluid in there to help it come out easier because it was thickening 
the fluid was thickening. And so I almost think it made it a little more painful for today's laying down, but that's okay. And then it was in a cool, weird room and did you see the machine? Did it look cool? Mm-hmm. And... Um, less people. They were very nice. Very quick. They just told me what to do and I did it. And... I started to fall asleep. Because it... Um, I wasn't claustrophobic again. I don't understand what that is. I opened my eyes during it and I wasn't claustrophobic. Awesome. But I was in pain and that was my only struggle. But then I fell asleep. How lucky am I? And they had to wake me up because I was moving my arm in my sleep. I was telling Ellis last night that we move in our sleep and talk in our sleep and he's like, no. -uh. I said, oh yeah, buddy. Do you? I move a lot, I'm sure. Like, uh, Winnie moves and talks in her sleep. Ellis moves and talks in her sleep. I move and talk in my sleep. You talk in your sleep. Do I? Yeah, you have talked in your sleep. And you move in your sleep, yeah. So I was telling him about that last night and then here you go, I did it today. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about it for today. Last night, do you remember me waking you? No. Nope. I was I was tapping Kyle on his back. You know, we're doing the family bed and I have we have two kids in between us. Well Winnie crawled onto me and she's with Flower and she's like whispering, I want water. But I had a really good position. It's hard to get a good position with my pain. So if I'm in a bad position, sure, I'll get up and go get anything you need. If I'm in a good position, we'd rather dad do it because then it might take 30 minutes for me to find a good position. So I'm scratching his back to, my, to wake him nice and cozily. And he's like, oh, like he's like waking up from it. Like, <laughs> what does she need type energy? And I'm like, oh good, he knows. He's just giving himself a minute. So then I'm scratching his back and he never looks at me, never looks at Winnie gets up and starts going straight to the restroom. And I'm like, hmm, does he know what is going on? And then you start walking over to the medicine cabinet and <laughs> I thought, oh, he thinks I need pain medicine. Oh. And I said, no, 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 honey. When he's saying she wants water and you put down your Tums bottle, <laughs> so you were getting yourself Tums, <laughs> cost from what? Uh, the late night pizza. Okay, and then you said, okay, give me a second. And when he's watching you, like, dude, I just wanted water. And then you went and got her water. I did? I don't remember any of that. I was sleepwalking. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was cute. So today was a success? Feel like you want to go to the hotel and sleep? Yeah, want to do whatever you want to do. Let's see what that is. We are at our little hotel. Jenny and I both rested. Can you see me? <laughs> well, I can't. How come I can't? There we are. We both rested when we got here. Jenny was exhausted, and I think I'm just taking advantage of. Not having You're exhausted from taking care of everyone in our household, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and doing everything. So I slept right next to you, and it was nice. When we were able to cuddle. Yeah. We don't get cuddle very often. It was really cute. And then I woke up randomly and saw that it was dark, so I knew our food options were running out. So I quickly looked online and found a Indian food restaurant that's really close to here and ordered our traditional favorites that we always get. So that's coming. Yay. And I am going to get Jenny like a cool rag for her head because she has a little bit of a headache. Probably a side effect of what you went through today. I think the first side effect, would you say? Yeah. 
And while I'm doing that, I'll show you a little tour of our cool little hotel, because it's really neat. And I'll ask the front desk if this could be the place that we stay for the week with the kids. Don't you think? I would love that. Because it's nice. Because it's called like something. It's called like something else. And what are you saying? It's for. It's designed for like biz there's just like a business area, mm -hmm. and it's designed for people doing like long stays. So there's, as I'll show you, a really nice like living room area with a TV. Now this is the best part. There's a full kitchen, refrigerator, sink, stove top, coffee maker, microwave. The kids will love this little area to sit in. A closet there. And then we have our own room with the huge bed. Cutie wife not included. Cutie wife. Our own TV. Huge. And then a huge like bathroom and huge closet. Huge bathroom and shower. Is the living room couch turned into like a couch bed? I'll have to look. Where the kids can sleep in there. I bet it does. But it's pretty cool. But let me get you a rag. I'm forgetting what I was doing. Did you ring that? I did. You're all blurry. Hi, blurry. Food's on its way. I'm gonna go out and pick it up. Oh, it's on its way? Yeah. Oh, cool. And we'll eat. Thank you, honey. Love you. I love you. Okay, I'll be out in like 10 seconds. Thanks. Food is in hand. Alright, if it's as good as it smells and looks, then we're, we're good. Garlic naan. Ala gobi. Samosa. Dal. Rice. And then I was like, uh oh, they didn't give us any utensils. Well, it doesn't matter. When you're staying here, it's like you're staying in a house. You kidding me? Forks? Knives? Pots and pans. I bet they have plates. I bet they do. I don't know where. Let's see. Oh, look at that. This is great. Alright, they serve my girl. Some naan, some dal, some rice, some ala gobi. <laughs> Some happy. Huh? Some happy. And some happiness. Mm -hmm. Served on a plate. You don't have to eat all of it, just some. Dinner is done. Jenny ate well. It's good, huh? Yeah. Thank you for dinner. Of course. And we never get time to do this because we're usually putting the kids down and brushing teeth and getting them ready for the next day, and laundry, and so we're gonna um, look at Instagram reels with each other. Kind of makes us laugh, takes our mind off of things, and we never get time to do it. We send each other reels back and forth over and over and over, and we never get time to like actually watch them. So we go to Instagram. Towards the top. Oh, I see, yeah. So we go to messages, and then these are the ones him and I send each other we'll find two funny ones to send to show you guys
headed to bed. Look at this hair. <laughs> we had late night dinner. We watched some reels. I didn't show you any good ones because we didn't have that many good yeah, ones. Yeah, they weren't as good this time. But and they're then funny. We're both falling asleep, so it is time. And we have to wake up and do more brain radiation. But then we get to drive home. See the kids. See the kids. Yes. Love you. I had a fun time with you tonight. Me too. And it's like quiet and peaceful. I definitely miss the kids, but it's been a fun night. It was like an anniversary redo. Yeah. Yesterday was our anniversary. We had to go to City of Hope, no offense. We had to um, do some drain stuff. Speaking of, we need to talk drain. Are we draining tonight or no? no I don't know. We'll talk. See you in the morning, guys. See you in the morning. Good night. Bye. We are here for day two of treatment. We stayed at the nearby hotel that the hospital recommended and gives us a discount through. And it was like five minutes of a drive to get here. So, ooh. Kyle's getting my wheelchair. And we're gonna go in. I'm having some pain today. There he is. I'm having some pain today. But hopefully it will get better. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> so a little nervous. We're going on about two hours now. And she's still back there. Uh, the doctor came out about a little over 45 minutes ago and said that she was having a little bit of a tougher time today and that she wants to push through it. So I think that has to do with pain. Um, she was in a lot of pain last night and this morning. So I really hope that she's okay. I know this video will be after the fact, but prayers are appreciated and just praying that she gets through it okay. We are done with my second treatment. It took longer than normal because I fell asleep, kept falling asleep from my pain medicine and my anxiety medicine. So then I would just like flick and move around, talk in my sleep, and I'm not supposed to move at all. I'm supposed to stay still. So that wasn't good. I'm gonna have to figure something else out. Um, it's a bummer, because it made it take longer, and then I just feel like I'm letting people down, and I just wanna get it done and be a good student. <laughs> And I feel like I'm a bad student when I can't. No. You're not letting it down. And there's like, during treatment, there's this gross smell. That you smell a little bit. And I wonder if it's like, in, the inside's burning. Like the fluid or something. No? I don't think so. Well, in true Kyle fashion, we are parked in front of a Starbucks. <laughs> So I'm guessing that's where we're going next. You know what I like there? I like water, so that's good. <laughs> and he likes Starbucks. We well, got through it. I was telling the camera when the doctor came out. I was thinking you were having like a bad, bad pain episode. Because the way he worded it was like that. <laughs> My breast still hurts, but it, it wasn't that. No, mm -hmm. it was just the twitching. <clears throat> and talking to my sleep. So I'd be like, oh yeah. You know. And did they say anything when you'd say those things? I don't remember. We're gonna stay still. Over the speaker. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were super nice. And they didn't make me feel bad at all. Did you tell them that your medications make you do that sometimes? No, I was just so embarrassed. And they seemed like they were just ready to get on to the next patient. Mm. So I just left. I said sorry. But oh, that was sorry. embarrassing. Well, you're okay. Now we're gonna drive home and see the kids. And get Ellis ready for his birthday party he has to go to. My mom's coming over in a couple hours, so we should probably get on the road. Yep, let's go. Okay. 
and Starbucks first. Yeah. We are home and look at this beautiful wreath that someone sent to our P.O. box. Thank you, we love it. It is very late in the night and I don't remember what the last thing I filmed was, but we are signing off. It's in the middle of the night and he just drained my catheter catheter fluid and it hurt so bad this time uh, it, it made my breast hurt so it is a thing where it's causing that breast pain and we talked to one of my doctors about it and she said yes it's like a pleurisy thing blah 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 so no fun but now we're going to bed thank you for always doing that for me baby always I appreciate you Mm -hmm. It's such a romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Alright, love you guys. Bye. Bye.